So here is another way of making holes and we'll be building a shelf with hole. So first of all if we click here we get four views. Uh, those one are just orthogonal flat views and I could bring in any view an item here called backdrop. So I click here backdrop item. This is if you want to bring a photo you want to trace or your own drawing. So you click here uh, add clip load image and we could bring this and now the image is here and if you go back you can make it transparent you can change the view here I'm okay with it so I'll maximize this and here we have an empty layer so if I delete this one to create an empty layer is N so I'll go in and then I'll use the cube but because you're on an empty layer it will create inside and because this view is flat has no depth it would actually create uh, it's it will actually do a plane and if you go Q to drop we can start a new one in the same layer uh, we could snap to it but it doesn't really matter Q so I'll go like this, another one voila and one last one perfect so now I'm gonna hide my backdrop and we can see so what we draw is actually flat. It's a polygon, but it has no thickness. Um, to add thickness, uh, to um, create the offset, we can go in polygon and select them one by one, you see. And I can move them, I could go W, move them if I want a bit of space in between. I could do things like this. But here what I want to do, it's shift click all of them and press B and B here it's the bevel but it'll do like an offset if I use the red I don't even have to use the red I can click anywhere it'll be the red and you see it'll go inside so that's how sorry my mouse is not behaving well undo control Z let's redo it voila uh, mine went inside a little bit so I can go zero here uh, let's just use this. I don't know why I did this. Voila. Q to drop the tool and now I can go delete. And to add I'll remove the polygon to go back to object mode. And to add thickness in the basic here, there's a thicken tool. And you click anywhere and then you use the blue. And it looks like I taper them. Uh so I'll undo a little bit more voila let's do one at a time B voila I don't know what I did delete then here B so it is better I think to use the red um, and if you do them by one by one they can have different thickness Voila. Now I just need to delete. So delete, select this one, this one, remove the polygon, and let's go thicken. And now I'm good. Now you might think it's one layer, so I can how can I move them? If you go in polygon and you double click, it would select all of the connected polygon. So that's how you can do it. Uh, you could also go here, go W. If your center is off, you can go Edit, Center to Bonding Box Center. That's how you reset it. And what we could also do here, if let's say I want all of them to be on one on multiple layer, you right click and you unmerge mesh. That's how you would do it. And then I just took a plane and I uh, did a render.
so you know how to do this um, I think the only thing I did if I remember well I uh, duplicated this one and I rotated it like this at 90 degree and I move it back yeah and then I uh, I think it was way further but then I grab all of my cube and I made it one material uh, cube and I make it way wider like this and maybe I change to area light I forgot but that was basically it voila <laughs>